Welcome back to the channel. We are out in our little 6x12 compost heated DIY cattle panel greenhouse here. We put all this together ourselves. We spent a lot of time showing and sharing our little compost heating system and the two solar powered systems we use to draw the heat off and bring it into our greenhouse and heat up our floor. And I had just shut this system off and basically taken all of our compost and distributed it. I do not spend a lot of time talking about what I do with all my compost. After winter, we have about a truckload or a little more of compost, a normal truck bed full. So basically we have some unfinished compost and a lot of finished compost in the dead center of the pile. So once I pull all that apart, I am able to distribute it all over our entire yard and we have a bunch of rich material. We're gonna go check it out. So it seems like we have had nothing but rain. We've had one sunny day in the last three weeks and maybe two in the last two months. It's ridiculous. We got just cloudy, rainy days, but we're still able to get some of our plants sprouted up out here. I had basically just turned this heating system off. So I was using that compost heat to heat the floor underneath all of these bricks and using passive heat from the sun to sprout all of those poblano peppers we got lots of hot peppers lots of bell peppers i basically have all peppers in here right now i found this cheap little old wire rack and just kind of hooked it up and pinned it in and i have a little bit more space i'd like to get another one to extend that out enough about the inside of the greenhouse i spend a lot of time in here and made a lot of videos about the inside let's go check out what we've got going on outside and how we spread our compost so let's go check this out we've got some of our plants that we transfer down to our big greenhouse these are all market plants here here's all the black gold let's check this out we've got tons of finished unfinished all mixed together i had broke all this apart and we spread it along the entire trench here threw some on the other side and i basically pinned it all down the outside of that whole cement slab we have planted our jerusalem artichokes in here we have a ton of sun chokes we had harvested last season so we should have 40 or 50 of them in this area planted all our own saved sunflower seeds and melons and some squash all in here and we will fill in the gaps once all this starts to sprout up we took all this warm compost and basically just threw it in here like a hotbed we've had some 30 degrees and below nights lately but the forecast looks pretty decent so we should be able to use all this for a little bit of additional insulation to get all those sprouted up and we should have pretty good success with that i kind of piled all this back up i had my hose exposed here i didn't want all of that continually exposed so i kind of reallocated this and used it for a little bit more heat all right i'm getting rained on pretty good here i just wanted to show everybody what we had going on for all of the compost heat you can see over here we've got it all lined up all around got my kids toys whole bunch of radishes coming up out there got all of our market radishes planted out so i thought i'd jump out here to this little greenhouse that almost anybody can put together and run and maintain and do some type of heating system just like this without a whole lot of machinery and you can just basically do it by hand i thought it would be a nice change from all of the videos i have going on in our large greenhouse lots of experiments and we had a really sunny day the other day the only sunny day we've had in a about two three weeks i charged up those lights that i have in my greenhouse if you've checked out that video i don't know about the quality of that video because it was a cloudy rainy day and that battery did not get to charge up that well so what i observed on my solar lights in my big greenhouse is that they will run almost all night long and be much brighter than they were on a cloudy day when they have a lot of sun which is obvious but i was shocked at how bright it was in my greenhouse i'm going to try and get a video of that just a quick video of the night time i won't go through the process of explaining everything during the day i just want to thank everyone for watching these videos and checking out all the stuff we got going on this was a kind of little change of pace i'm always talking about compost heating now i'm talking about what i do with my compost and how i use it at the end of its cycle 